Good morning, dear children. This is Maniksha from KKS in Amar Kantak. So, dear children, today we shall look into the role of these executive. Already, dear children, I have told you that there are two types of executive. One is called permanent executives, which are appointed by the governments of India, and another one is called the political executives, which is appointed by the peoples through the process of elections. So, dear children, today we shall be looking into the different aspect as well as the different role of these political as well as the permanent executive in previous classes we have learned the role of the permanent executives who put the signatures and issued the office memorandum on behalf of the government so here we understood that the role of these permanent executives, the civil servant is to execute the laws that has been made by these political executives. The office memorandum issues as well as these office memorandum issues which is formulated by the political executives. So decisions are made by the political executives here. So here the duties and responsibilities of the civil servant is to carry out the task of these political executives. So dear children, in this office memorandum, we talked about these reservation issues of these SCBC's peoples who were backward community in the societies. So to make them forward in the society, government give them, given them a opportunities of giving reservations of 27 percentage. So the decisions was made in the parliament, it was made by the political executives and it was been signed and it was been issued and notified by the permanent executives called civil servants. So dear children here, we see, we understand that there is a different level of task. We see the different level of task in government which are being carried by the civil servants. The civil servant is not enjoying the supreme, supreme power here. Who is enjoying the supreme power? The, perma, the political executives which are elected by the peoples here. So here, the permanent executive is not enjoying the supreme power on behalf of the peoples, rather than they are assisting the government task as well as the responsibilities in each and every day. And that is why it is known as these executives. That is why, because they are executing the policies here. They are executing the policies they are executing the task of the government that is why they are known as executives because they have a task to carry out the government duties and responsibilities their, their duties and responsibilities to carry out the administrative administration's work in the societies their duties is to see whether the policy which was been executed whether it is properly followed in the society or not so we see we understand that this permanent executive who is having major role in the societies. They are most talented peoples by writing exams. The most qualified persons are appointed by the government of India. Though they are talented, their duties and responsibilities to work under the control of political executives. Because here the real power is lying among the political executives. The political executives are the ruler of the societies. And here the, the permanent executives are helping them 
in carried carried out the different tasks of the government so dear children in democratic societies we have these categories of executive because without the help of these executives the ruling as well as the administration task is not going to be more effective already i have told you that uh, there are two kinds of executive the first one is elected by the people for a certain period of time and the second one with writing exams by writing exams the second category people the most talented people by writing exams they prove their quality and they appeared in the exams and they became the civil servants and they are known as permanent executives they are not appointed by the governments for a fixed period of times they are being appointed as a permanent executives who are permanently working for the executions of policies to carry out the government task so here the civil servants are helping the government helping these political executives in doing different tasks for the betterment of the societies so dear children let us look into look into details the duties and responsibilities of these political executives as well as these permanent executives so dear children as we are discussing about the roles and responsibility of these permanent executives as well as these political executives so here the political executives and permanent executives is having major roles in the societies for the formulations of different kind of policies for the betterment of the societies so here many times different kind of questions are arising that why those the political executives is having more power than the civil servants so here the question is arising here that why the political executives is more powerful than these civil servants and the simple answer is here because the political executives are appointed as well as elected by the people here they are elected by the people they are the representatives of the nations because through the process of elections these political executives are elected by the people that is why they are exercising supreme powers on behalf of the people here and here whenever something is happening during that time here the political executives being the representatives of the nations is going to be finally answerable to the people in any consequences which are happening in the societies because the political executives are elected for a certain period of time and since they are the representatives of the people they need to be answerable for every consequences which are happening in the societies so here leaders used to decide every objectives on different kind of matters different kind of policy different kind of things why the leaders are making decisions here regarding different policies because they are elected by the people here since they are elected by the people so that is the reason they are enjoying more powers here they are enjoying more powers here so here sometimes the ministers can take advice or they can take some of these suggestions from this permanent executives so dear children when we are making the comparisons between this political executives as well as these permanent executives we understand that these permanent executives are more educated more qualified more talented they appear in exams work hard and they appear in exams so they are more talented they are expert in knowledge they have more knowledge about the economic situations of the societies but they are only working under the control of political executives 
Mostly we have seen that the ministers, they might be having little knowledge about the matters like economics, health science, as well as all these things. But here, the final decisions will be made by the ministers because they are elected by the peoples here. Since they are elected by the peoples, so they have more power. They have more power to enjoy in the societies. So dear children, here we understand that the permanent executives is the one who is ruling the societies. They have a final say for every decisions in every kind of matters in the societies. They used to make decisions on every field. See, though the permanent executives are talented, but here, since they are elected by the peoples, they are more powerful in the societies. They are more powerful in the societies. They have more, uh, more powers in the societies because they are elected by the peoples. So th this is the difference between these political executives as well as the permanent executives. So dear children here, we understand that political executives are elected by peoples. Permanent executives are appointed by the government of India. But in democratic systems, both these permanent executives as well as the political executives working for the betterment of the societies. Thank you so much for listening to me.